Welcome to another video lesson of TLE ICT-10. The content of this video is from the TLE CSS module from SDO Caloocan Week 4, wrote by Mr. Anthony Candelario. Thank you, sir. In these times of pandemic, we are all relying on computer network to keep updated, release, on our, release our anxieties, entertain ourselves, communicate to our distant friends or co-workers, and also find extra income. We can say that internet is important to us to help us continue living despite of lockdowns and threats. We can share and get information online. That is possible because of networking, where cable plays a vital role. Speaking of cable, how do we use this in a network? Well, that will be our topic for week 4 of TLE ICT-10. Network cables connect our devices into the network. It serves as the nerves where data pass through. It is also important to identify what are the different cables and their functions and how to splice them. This topic will be divided into three lessons. First is about network cables types and functions. The second will be about color coding for twisted pair cables. And the last lesson is about the procedures on how to splice UTP cable into RG45. Let us start with lesson one, network cable types and functions. It is important to identify what are the different network cables because it serves as your springboard in having a good network. Every cable has its own function. It means that you only use specific cable in a given situation. The twisted pair, we discussed it in week two. It has two types, the shielded twisted pair or STP and unshielded twisted pair or UTP. They are both made of, of four pairs of wires that is color coded. The colors are orange, white orange, blue, white blue, green, white green, brown, and white brown. STP, or the shielded twisted pair, provides better electromagnetic interference protections since it has an extra wire covering. It has a maximum range of 100 meters and transfers data up to 1,000 megabytes per second, or that is 1 gig per second. UTP, on the other hand, has different categories, but let us focus on CAT3, CAT5, CAT5E, and CAT6. UTP category 3 is used for telephone and LAN at only 10 megabytes per second, while UTP CAT5 is commonly used in a network at a transmission rate of 100 megabyte per second. CAT5E has a maximum speed of 1000 megabytes per second or it means it is 10 times higher than CAT5. CAT6 is the same as CAT5E in terms of maximum length which is 100 meters. And speed is also the same at 1000 megabyte per second, but their difference is on bandwidth. CAT6 is designed for 250 megahertz compared to CAT5E that has only 100 megahertz. So what does it mean? CAT6 can allow more data at the same time. If you are going to compare it into a road, CAT6 has four lanes, while CAT5E only has two lanes. In appearance, CAT6 has a plastic separator for four pairs of wires, which prevents interference. Now let's go to coaxial cable. It is a copper cord cable surrounded by a heavy shielding that is used to connect the computers to the network. It is commonly used by cable operators, telephone companies, and internet provider, but it is slowly being replaced by fiber optic cables. 
Now, I will highlight its types, the thick net and the thin net. As you can see, their appearance is almost the same, but thin net is thinner than the thick net. Well, it's obvious to its name. They are both capable in a 10 Mbps speed, but thick net has a maximum length of 500 meters while 185 meters only for thin net. Last is the fiber optic cable. This is made of a glass or plastic conductor that transmits information using light that has one or more optical fibers enclosed in a shelf or jacket. This cable is affected by electromagnetic and radio frequency interference. They are designed for long distance, high performance data, data networking and telecommunications. Fiber optic cable has a transfer speed of 100 megabytes per second for 2 kilometers length, 1000 megabytes per second for 1 kilometer, and 10,000 megabytes for 550 meters distance. We can say that fiber optic can allow a higher speed with a shorter distance. Okay, that is all for our lesson one. Again, these are the different types of cable, the twisted pairs, which has the UTP and the STP. We also have the coaxial cable. And lastly is the fiber optic cable. If you have questions, just let me know by commenting in this video or asking in our group chat. Thank you, goodbye, and keep safe.